You don't have to look hard to find graffiti in Columbus and Wednesday night at City Hall. We've got to stop this right here. You didn't have to search hard for opinions on how to get rid of it. Graffiti has, Colum has come to Columbus like the plague. A public hearing was held to discuss ways to beef up the city's anti-graffiti laws. We need to change ordinances, we need to change city code, and we need to find funding to do this. By increasing jail time and stiffer restitution, we will not have the appearance of a war zone. The majority of attendees were calling for two things, stiffer penalties for repeat offenders and the ability for code enforcement to make owners of occupied buildings remove graffiti, like owners of vacant buildings are currently made to do within a 30-day period. Because the sooner they get it off, the better off they are, you know? And, and nine times out of 10, it may come back the second time, but they clean it up again, it's not going to reappear. Lydia Pantages says issuing fines to property owners will victimize them a second time. In these difficult economic times, folks are struggling to keep their heads above water and to get their bills paid. Adding another expense of purchasing paint or hiring someone to remove the graffiti is a burden that should not have to be taken on by residents. There's also concern over increased jail time. When we put these guys away, we, we put a burden on taxpayers to give these guys room and board for whatever duration the sentence is. But the fact is, is that when we do that, the graffiti is still on the building. This isn't the last we'll hear on this topic. Another hearing is scheduled for next Thursday at 5 p.m. In Columbus, Tom Brockman, NBC4.